Crazy Yoga and More. I'm Aditi and today I have a practice that will help you wake the body up. So let's just dive right in. We will begin by standing up on our feet today. Keep your legs at about hip distance apart. Bring your palms to the side. As you begin to take deep and slow inhales from the nose, and a slow exhale out from the mouth. Inhaling as if it is the first breath you have ever taken. Exhaling with a relief, with a sigh. One more breath like that. Beautiful, slowly open your eyes and now begin to roll your shoulders backwards. Squeeze the shoulders into the ears and then drop them down with your exhales. forward beautiful release bring your legs in together interlace your fingers and send both your arms up Lengthen your spine. Imagine someone pulling you from the top. Keep breathing. Feel that activation along the length of your entire body. Exhale. Release your hands back and down. Beautiful. Flow with me here. Inhale, both your hands up. Exhale, bring your palms in front of your chest in a namaste. Breathe and back up again. Open your arms. Exhale, namaste. One more. Big breath all the way down and then up to the top. Exhale, Namaste. Wonderful. Walk to the front edge of your mat now. Let's take one more inhale. Send your arms up. And this time as you exhale, bring both your palms on your lower back. You can keep your legs relaxed at hip distance apart. And you push your hips gently forward into a standing back bend. Open the chest and breathe here. Notice the expansion in your chest. your next inhale come back to the center release breathe in back to the top and breathe out this time we dive down into our forward fold plant your fingertips on the mat keep a generous bend in your knees and begin to pedal your feet one leg at a time Waking up the back of our legs, the hamstrings, the calves. Keep breathing, keep your head down. And then find some stillness. Take one more breath here.
on your inhale ardhottanasan halfway up your spine and your lower body at 90 degrees and slowly see if you can send your arms in front of you stay here for 5 4 3 2 and 1 all the way down beautiful big breath let's go all the way up to the top exhale namaste wonderful from here let us send the left leg behind you can keep your hands on your waist for better balance both your legs are in two different lines two parallel lines bend your right knee right ankle and knee in one line spine nice and tall ashwa sanchalanasana hands to your side focus on a single point for better balance and find those deep steady breaths Hiram Sukham Asanam On your inhale send both your arms up to the top here as you exhale lock your hands behind your back bring your hands down open the chest exhale with a sigh as you bring both your hands back to your waist and come back to your samasthiti Take a deep breath in here. And as you exhale this time your right leg goes behind. Stand up nice and tall, staying connected and grounded through your lower body, but lifted up through your upper body. Hands to the side, open the chest. on your inhale send both your arms up and exhale lock your hands behind your back open the chest pull your arms down exhale to release and step forward again into your samasthiti from here on your next breath again send both your arms up As you exhale, rain your fingertips down, bend your knees. From here, one by one, send both your legs behind. Bring your knees down on the mat and plant your palms. Nice and strong tabletop position. When you're ready, breathe and to drop your belly. Look up. Breathe out to round your spine. Head down. inhale back up exhale round down one more inhale up again exhale down breathe in back to your tabletop position flat back position and from here let us curl the toes let us send the hips up and back to our adho mukha svanasan downward facing dog begin to pedal your feet now this time waking up the entire body maybe you can move your hips sway your hips from side to side and now we find some stillness push your chest behind take about 4 to 5 deep and slow breaths here 
allowing the oxygen to reach every inch of your body. On your inhale, bring your left leg in front. Open the chest, gentle rocking forward and back. And then find stillness here. You can also bring your right knee down. On your exhale, now send your hips behind into your Ardha Hanuman Asana. Breathe in forward again. Breathe out back. One last time, inhale. And this time, curl your right toes again, right palm on the mat, lift your back knee, left hand goes up. Breathe, say hi to the sky. Waking up, waking it all up. On your exhale, bring it all down. Send your left leg behind and back to your downward facing dog. On your next inhale, your right leg comes in front between both your hands. Gentle rocking forward and back again. And on your exhale, bring your left knee down. Open the chest here. Feel that beautiful activation, that stretch in your left Towards your right hip. On your next exhale, draw your hips behind. Inhale, forward again. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasan. Breathe in forward into your low lunge. Curl your left toes. Left palm on the mat, right hand goes up. Breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Now this time, send both your legs behind. Come back to your tabletop position. Walk your, hand, walk your arms forward, send your tailbone behind, maybe wiggle it like a dog. Down into your puppy pose. Forehead or chin on the mat. Feel the opening up, the activation in your shoulders, your arms, your rib cage. Beautiful, slowly begin to walk your hands behind and make your way back up to your Vajrasan. Both your palms in your lap or you can also place your right hand on your heart, your left hand on your belly. Take a few deep breaths in and out. Notice how you're feeling now. Bring your palms in front of your chest in a namaste and slowly let soft light enter your eyes. Open your eyes with a beautiful smile. 
I hope you're ready for the day now. Have a beautiful one.